Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I've got nothing. Let's go to the bridge. Woo! They pulled up. They pulled up. It worked. It actually worked. Hey guys, welcome to my favorite loadout in Battlefield 5. I mean plain loadouts when I'm saying loadout. This thing is amazing. At air to air and air to tank, we sacrificed our amazing offensive weaponry for air to infantry <laughs> in order to make this happen. But that's pretty much the only sacrifice that we've had to make. You see the four times 20 mil high explosives are so damn good against infantry. But if we just don't choose that and we choose the four times heavy machine gun, then we get an extremely high rate of fire four times heavy machine gun. <laughs> and it's sick at air to air. But then we can also go for the uh, the tank busting loadout, which is the 840 pound bomb I've got equipped here. Not just good against tanks, also good against infantry. We've got that and also we've got the mines and the mine drop is the most satisfying, most fun thing that you can do. Trust me, guys. You just got to lay it everywhere. It looks like they've taken this sector though. I'm going to lay it just in front of A. Chances are a tank will find its way there. And then let's go back and resupply. You see, the thing is, you want to make sure at any one time you've laid all three possible mine drops. You see, you can do it three times before it starts disappearing. So on the fourth time, your mines start disappearing from the first run. And then fifth time, your second run mines disappear. So that's how it works. You can lay three at any one time. May as well have maximum utilization on that. And have five mines, sorry, three mines dropped at any one time. And that's the plan. They just take forever to reload. So we dropped a bunch of A. And I could see a dude in that big artillery cannon. Should we get him with the bomb? Beautiful. There's a big splash damage versus infantry with that bomb. I really do like that bomb. And it, all, it can also do up to 81 damage versus a tank. Now, let's see. Can we really kill this guy really quickly? Yep. He went down so quick. We are being attacked by Flieger Faust, so we have no choice but to go back and resupply, which is frustrating because my mines only just became fully uh, resupplied. I think this sector is better for the mine drop because tanks seem to be a bit more of a, in a central location, a bit more of a funnel. See, they're going to start hitting Bravo soon. And we'll just drop mines here along the road. We're getting some mine hits. We got double fleeged. Unbelievable. Can't believe how unlucky it is I got double fleeged. No one seems to use Flieger Faust these days unless they're really being harassed by the planes. And I'm looking at the scoreboard. The planes really aren't harassing them that much. So I don't know what's going on. We can lay our third mine drop now, finally. There's a tank. There's a Sherman. We're going to try and drop the 800 pound bomb on him. Hopefully he's low. Vehicle hit 106 because there's more than one there. Let's turn back and drop the mines now. Where was it? Where was it? It was like here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think that's right on target. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. He moved right as it fell right next to him. And it finished him off. Brilliant. Let's get some more ASAP. Absolutely love this loadout. Now, you might be wondering, Nick, why... Do you prefer this to the four times 20 millimeter high explosive? And the reason is because this is just way more fun. I find that loop, you know, that gameplay loop of just doing long range strafing runs where you can barely even see the enemy. I find that really a bit tedious and repetitive. Whereas tank busting is a lot of fun. But it's got some awesome sound effects as well when you do tank busting. Absolutely love it. So it's just more fun and you get also get to do the air to air roll. It's just great. Look, this guy is definitely hitting my mines right now. He's low. Let's finish him with the bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. We've got them in a kill box right there. Covered in mines and then you finish them off with a bomb. Absolute kill box right there. There's a guy right here. Uh, he's dodged my mines, but if he does turn left into that village, he is going to have a surprise waiting for him. Let's get the resupply ASAP. 
But I think we're not doing bad. We are stopping the enemy armor, which is a big role, I think. Like, we could get an easy kill if we go for the uh, aircraft over there. But I'm not ready for that. Look at that. Look. Two tanks right here. Oh, no. My bomb was not reloaded in time. Let's uh, turn around and see if we can get the mine drop right on top of them. Uh, there's a Fliegerfaust waiting for me. Did you see that? Two tanks. Just got nailed by my mines. That is hilarious. <laughs> and I saw it in the same view. That was amazing. Look at that. That is fun. That is so fun. Absolute kill zone right there on that road. Leading toward B. It's a complete minefield. <laughs> Why am I getting enemy hits right now? I have no idea. Look, there's more tanks. There's so many tanks at all times. Let's see. What are we going to do? I reckon the one on the road is like this to be low. Yeah, we're getting more hits. So many damn hits. It's hilarious. Uh, I lost them. I lost the tanks. Oh, there's one. I think this one's low because of all those hits I was getting. V clip 56 and a random two infantry kill. And I've got a bogey on me now. Not good, not good, not good. Let's see if we can outturn him. I can hear him. He's right here with me. Why am I holding down the shift key? That does nothing. It's like I'm trying to sprint in the air. <laughs> but it does absolutely nothing. It's some kind of force of habit. And I don't know where it's from. But he's given up. Let's drop some mines whilst we pursue him. Let's drop the mines like right here. That's right in front of that tank. That Sherman tank. Now look at that damage per second. Oh, he's jumped out. So, what else have we got? No, no, we're completely out of ordnance. Let's quickly have a stab at this guy. Why is there a Fliegerfaust over here? Damn, that overheat. That is some overheat. Why is there a Fliegerfaust on that boat over there? Somewhere. It's hilarious. <laughs> this entire game is just getting hit markers on tanks. It's so funny. So yeah, you've got the air-to-air -air fighter plane on both teams, right? Now, this isn't the air-to-air. -air. This is the air-to-ground variant. And I've chosen it with the air-to-air -air guns because I suspect it's a higher damage per second output. Given that when you choose the air-to-air -air one, yeah, you can upgrade to six times heavy machine gun. But it's a slow rate of fire. Whereas if you do this one with four times, it's a high rate of fire. And I suspect it's a higher damage per second. I haven't, I haven't made myself fully confident on that one yet. But I really do suspect... I've got mines right in line with where that tank's headed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. We lost the sector. Oh, no. we got to go for the AA gun. No. I killed myself with a ridiculous move. Oh, no. I got killed by a Fliegerfaust. Okay. We're back in the air. Took a while because now it's a storm. Really took some time before I could get this plane back. That's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes there's a lot of competition for the air. So I don't know what the plan is now. It's been long enough that I need to lay all three mines. So that is the primary mission is to get all mines down on the ground. And I think there was a tank on my radar before I spawned on Alpha. Let's see if there still is one. If there is, I'm not seeing him. There's a bunch of infantry down here though. Uh, I just killed that turret for no reason. No one was there. Let's turn around and help our wingman. He's being harassed by an aircraft and we are very well suited at killing aircraft. Uh, we'll go for this one. Quite hard to see him in the storm. What was that? AA gun? How satisfying is that? <laughs> what a nice consecutive hits going on right there. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get back and drop these mines. Somewhere is an AA uh, ready to shoot at me. Let's drop mines just about here. 
Yeah, we got it all over before and after the bridge. I like it. Let's get some more. If any tanks do want to drop that, cross that bridge, they're going to have a rough time. But we aren't really identifying them. I think that's what we need to do. Because they're getting past us. I'm capturing the flag. I'm not getting any hits. Let's see what's happening at B. Apparently we're losing it. The lightning sh did show up, but I didn't see anyone. Hmm. Oh, there's a tank on the move by the water. They're avoiding the bridge. Maybe it's not wise to hit the bridge then. Let's drop some mines on this beach. Yeah, one's right in front of him. If he can just hit one mine, I can finish him. With the 800 pound bomb, he did it. He hit my mine, let's get him. There we go. That's how it's done. If you stalk them, that's how you hunt tanks. You drop the mines, force them to hit one, and then finish them with the bomb. Because the bomb doesn't kill them in one hit. But well, you can pretty much... With this loadout, you can guarantee that kill. That's awesome. Alright, let's figure out where next to drop them. Like, where are these tanks going in this sector? How are we losing Abel? Let's start heading toward Abel. If I do zoom in, I supposedly auto-spot people. With this loadout. Okay, that was a nice... Attack right there. I've got one on me. This is not good. Uh, can I get some backup here? What do I do? How do I get him off my six? How do I shake him? He has an aftermarket skin, which suggests to me he somewhat <laughs> will be decent at a pilot. Come on, dude. At least I'm getting my infinite resupplies now. My infinite repairs. So I can just sort of circle here and wait for backup. It's pretty dirty. Or should we just do a switch now? See if we can get on a six. Yeah, that's how it's done. Oh, that was nasty. Let's get him. Ah, oh, yes. And with these offensive heavy machine guns, it's going to be nice. I've already done 40 damage. really hard to compensate with my broken wing and even harder to go first person there we go there we go okay let's lock in this repair I'm desperate for it all right there's something shooting a heavy caliber weapon I'm back here what is it what is that what is that oh it's a Sherman let's drop mines on him so I hit him once with the bomb and also dropped the mines with that bomb. So hopefully the mines are on target. I don't know. I'm not getting any hit markers. Getting absolutely nothing from that drop. Maybe it's not wise to drop the bomb and the mines at the same time. Note to self. He's still there. I don't like it. Should we hunt this aircraft? Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. I love those four times. Beautiful. Should we see if we can bomb that boat? It might be full of men. Oh, no. I've got, I've got a bogey on me. That's the priority. He went straight for me as well, so he means business. I'm not just gonna get him to be bored and go away. There he is, there he is. He did get a bit bored. <laughs> okay, 21 damage already. He's a dead man. Absolute dead man. Someone else got the kill. I swear I had it. Could have sworn that was mine. Right then, let's go for the Sherman. I think there's two tanks next to each other before the bridge. So, let's do that plan like last time. Drop the mines first. And when they hit one, finish them off with the bomb. Yeah, okay, finish them off with the bomb, but I'm getting attacked by a 40mm AA gun. Damn it, dude. 
Can we get away with it? No, we can't. It's right there harassing us. So we'll drop the bomb on the way back to repair and resupply. <laughs> really harassing that Sherman with that mind drop. Absolutely love it. We are so good at killing tanks, man. There's no other plane that's as good as this at killing tanks in the Pacific Theater. This is the best one. And you get that awesome air-to-air -air capability. Tell me this isn't the most fun loadout. Look at that. We keep getting hits on the tanks. It's so good. All right, we're going straight for this guy. That was on target. That'll teach you for harassing me. Uh, and then mine drop just around there where they've been camping with the tanks. Hopefully you'll get something. What are you doing in our spawn, buddy? Say hello to my little friend. Okay, okay. I'm going to leave him, actually. And get the repairs. Quite desperate. Quite desperate for the resupply as well. I really want to buzz these tanks. And also, I saw a huge pocket of men on Bravo. I really want to attack it with the 800-pound bomb. And show off the splash blast radius that you get with that bomb. It's so nice. They're all in there, but I'm still reloading. No, there's someone on the 40 mil AA gun again. Why is he making me waste my bomb on the AA gun, man? I don't want to do it. Don't make me do that, dude. It's not cool. Not cool at all. No, I'm not seeing anyone now. I've got no eyes. A Sherman is pushing A. That's our target. The Sherman that's pushing A. Right there, right there. Mine drop on the hill where he's retreating. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> we didn't even need to finish him off with the 800 pound bomb. Let's get this guy. He's he's definitely a, an air hunter, this guy. Actually, I'm not going to follow him to his base. I am not going to do that because there's a 40 mil AA gun. We do need to kill him though. You do need to finish this guy. Uh, first, I'm going to drop a bomb on these infantry. Squad wipe. I'll take it. Let's turn back, find a place to lay these mines. Short attention span, I've completely ignored. Completely ignored this plane. Let's finish him now. What in the world was that delay? How many tank kills am I getting with this thing? I love it. Absolutely love it. It's beautiful. I've ignored this guy again. I've lost him in the storm. Let's put it to that, shall we? Where are these tanks? I'm ready to drop some mines. Look at that AA gun. He won't quit. Get out of here, AA gun. Oh, there's a tank pushing A. Let's do it again. Yeah, right there. Oh, I think I missed. He just dodged me there. Let's drop the 800 pound bomb on him. I can't, I can't, I can't. I couldn't line up with it. Don't do this. I don't want to fight you right now, I'm weak. No. <laughs> I guess we've got to. I think he just hit, I heard him hit the ground. Oh well. Fair enough. Now, I think that guy pushing A is the one that just got me that vehicle hit. So let's see if we can finish him off now with the bomb. Somewhere down here. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. There, that guy. I missed. Completely missed. I'm getting a lot of stuttering. Oh, I thought I laid the mines. Let's just quickly lay the mines on him. He's like here somewhere, right? He's somewhere in there. I think I'm on him. Let's get the resupply. We're not doing bad. We've got 26 and 2 with the most fun loadout. The question, guys, is, is this more useful for the team to kill tanks like this in this role? Is this more useful? 
or is it better to go for the infantry buster? Now that is a question I'm interested in. All right, I'm just stalling because I want to. I want to come in here and hit the tanks, uh, but I completely disorientated myself. There were two on the bridge. There we go. I've got my orientation back again. Yeah, what is that? That's a Sherman. He's been hit once. Let's finish him with the bomb. Yeah, there we go. I would have dropped the mines if it wasn't for the fact that I saw a turret did hit his chassis. Okay, I'm seeing another tank immediately beneath me. Where was that? There. He's on the road. Main road crossing the bridge. We've still got mines on us. Uh, he was crossing the bridge. Alright, we've laid it just about in the water where he was crossing under that bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Immediate response. I love it. Maybe we can stop them before they make their push. Because they'll be low on health now. And my bomb should finish them. Yeah, I'm seeing one push the beach. Our bomb will be reloaded by the time we get in there. Let's hit this one. V clip 54, we missed. We got a bogey on us. He's right on us. And it's that skin again. But we are in our, our territory, which means he's the one at the disadvantage if he keeps pursuing. I think he's still on me. I'm just going to push toward the resupply here. No, he's still on me. Fine, fine, fine. But I'm in a location for infinite repairs. He's right here with me. Come on, wingman. You're, I know you're hunting him as well. Yeah, he's right here with me. <laughs> We're just turning in circles. All right, next time he passes me, I'm going to switch. All right, he's right here. I've got him. He's mine. How did I beat him? I do have an increased turning ability with automatic leading edge. He's actually quite hard to see in the, against the sky there. Oh, I love these guns. I love him. That guy loves to pursue. Poor guy, it was 2v1. But he's interrupting my tank killing. It's not acceptable, dude. I've got to stop you when you do that. Oh, seven tickets left. Can we get another tank? Oh, no. Okay, let's try something against this AA gun. Some wide corkscrews. He's immediately lost track of me. Got him! <laughs> Some dice physics there as well. What have I done? I've just laid mines over infantry. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, there you have it, guys. That's the end of the game. Hope you enjoyed the video. That is the most fun plane in Battlefield 5. What do you think? Are you going to switch from the 40 mils high explosives to this? after seeing this video, or are you going to stick with what you got and do exclusive roles, you know, exclusively go for infantry with that original loadout and then switch to the other plane when you want to go air to air and make it more of an exclusive role. Is that the plan or are you going to try this one out? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time. Peace.